I love keeping up with the designer fashions, but they're just too expensive to buy and so easy to recreate at home. Hey everyone, Gracie Desenny here, and today we have a very special guest joining us for a DIY, Madison Beer. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So recently I saw this Alice and Olivia necklace that I thought was the coolest thing ever. So I invited Madison here and we are gonna make it but we're gonna make it cheaper and make it better, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start with a t-shirt. Which color do you want? White. White. Yeah. Okay, take that one, and I will take this one. You're gonna take your t-shirt and you're gonna lay it out just like so. All right, now we're gonna roll it up. You're gonna roll it the thickness you want for the necklace. I'm gonna roll mine about two or three times. All right, and then you're gonna just cut that. All right, yeah. there we go. <laughs> so now we can just throw that. We don't need that anymore. Let's throw it behind us. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna roll that and you're gonna take rubber bands and you're just gonna rubber band it and then you can also measure it. So if you don't want it to be too long, you can cut it and make it shorter. I'm gonna cut mine just a little bit. <laughs> Wait, can I roll it like a little bit tighter to make it skinnier? Yeah, totally. So just take rubber bands and start on one side and just kind of tie it together. Kind of like those like twist candies. Those are good. <laughs> so you're gonna put like five or four rubber bands All throughout the, the entire down. thing. So when they're done, they should look a little something like this. So <laughs> now to the next step. We're gonna take fabric and cover our t-shirt. So pick one of those. I'll do this one. And you're gonna take that and you're gonna lay that out. Just like so. You're gonna measure a strip about four fingers wide and then just start cutting. All right, and now you're just gonna start wrapping it and then hot gluing at points along the way to make sure it sticks. Okay. All right. So wrap it back once. Be careful with your glue gun. My fabric's running out. All you have to do is take that fabric that we took somewhere that and just add some more. We just, that we just tossed. Okay. You can use that. Find that. Do you have it? I found it! <laughs> Go team! We're doing good. Okay, so I'll make it probably like a little thinner because I only need the end. You always want a little extra, so go ahead and leave a little extra. Okay. I like that's probably good. I think it's better when it's not wrapped that tightly, so it's a little looser and a little more relaxed. And then let's use another rubber band. You can use some glue too, but use a rubber band oh too goodness. just to hold everything together. So when they're done, they should look a little something like this. Oh! <laughs> Next. Next step. Are you ready? Are you all good? I'm good. Add a rubber band to the other end. Okay. Put down the glue gun. No more gluing yourself. Here, this end. Add it. No, no more gluing yourself. No more gluing this. yourself. Okay, wait, should I leave this little piece out? Yes. No, I should leave that out. I'll hold it. <laughs> there you go. So mine looks a little like this, and I'm gonna make mine a shorter necklace. So there we have that, and yours is longer. Them. You don't wanna show yours? We're gonna just hide. <laughs> no, it looks good. <laughs> it's, it's good, it's it okay. It looks good, it looks I'm good. Not as, I'm not as neat. And as now we're gonna cover good. everything up, so you don't even have to worry, this is just Yay. our base. So take chains and some necklaces and pearls and just go at it and have fun. I like these. So we're gonna take all these things and then use the glue gun and the rubber band and just all attach them right in there at the top and then wrap around. So I'm gonna add these thin chains now. It was just a necklace that we got at the store. If you don't like something, it's easy to take off. If you do like something, you can put more of it on. I like these thin chains because it adds a little bit of something different. Um, do you want to add anything else to yours or do you like it? I think I like it. I think I like it too. Sweet. All right, ready for the final step? Yes. So we are going to take our ribbon and we're just okay. going to tie a knot. Do I have ribbon? <laughs> you look like a present. <laughs> I'm going to tie it a bow. I'm going to tie it a bow. So you're gonna tie the fabric around the ribbon. Okay. And what this will do is cover all these loose ends and then it will also 
give us how to tie it up oh. and wear it. I think this is long enough, right? You're I good. Think I'm good. Yes. I think I'm good. So tie this with the ribbon in the center. Exactly. So you're gonna tie the fabric around the ribbon. Okay. So you're gonna tie it just like this. There we go. And then pull the ribbon through. So you have, there you go. Then you're gonna wrap this end just around this end so it's a prettier edge. Right. And then you're gonna glue that down. All right, I'm gonna do the same over here. The great thing about using ribbon instead of like a chain is you can leave it however long you want and just tie it. All right, so now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, now I guess all we have to do is go out and rock them. Yeah. All right, Ooh, thanks yeah. for joining us today, Thank Madison. Thank you so much for having me. And we wanna see your necklace, so send us a photo on Instagram or Twitter at AwesomenessTV with the hashtag to die for. And we can't wait to see your pics. See you Yay. soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.